Hello ladies, we're so excited to welcome you to Chili Camp Gilmont. It's a brisk day today and we are planning for the women's retreat in February and we want to introduce you to our new friend Susan who will be leading us through the weekend. Susan, tell us a little bit about what we're going to do. Well, I'm really excited to be here. I absolutely love the woods. I come from a family that loves the woods, and this is a beautiful, beautiful spot. Um, and the the um, the places to sleep and and the conference rooms and the dining area is, is all neat. I've never seen it before, and I really like it. It's going to be a lot of fun. Um, I'm more familiar with Ferncliff over on the Arkansas side, but that's not the only place in the world. Um, much to David Gill's chagrin, I'm sure, but um, <laughs> this is just gorgeous. And, and I'm excited because you and I had some conversations a couple of months ago about imagination and apocalyptic literature, and, and it just sparked an entire theme for this particular retreat for the women. And I um, am... Ap apocalyptic literature? <laughs> what? Jane, Jane, don't be scared, Jane. It's okay. <laughs> I know. Do you get that reaction? I, well, yeah, sometimes, and especially from Presbyterians. And truth be told, that's the reason that I wrote this particular dissertation for my doctoral degree, because Presbyterians don't pay attention to apocalyptic literature most of the time. We just kind of uh, shove it off to the side because we don't understand it, we don't get it. We're really kind of scared of it. So um, one of the things that I learned was that apocalyptic literature and all of those crazy images, not just Revelation, but Daniel and, and all of the other images, Mark chapter 13, all of those images were very familiar to the folks who lived about 200 B.C. to 400 A.D. in a genre called apocalyptic, apocalyptic genre. And it's Kissing Cousin today. It doesn't exist anymore, but it's Kissing Cousin is science fiction fantasy. Oh, wow. So back when my little girl started to read, she and I began a love affair with Harry Potter books hmm. and science fiction fantasy, and that's when I began my, um, my doctoral work, and the two just kind of fed each other, and I began to see how much imagination was important to God because 4% of the Bible is written in this imaginative genre of literature. And it really is cool. It's fun. It's, uh, it's very passionate, and it's very exciting. So That sounds great. Okay, Jane, do you feel better? Yes, yes. So we know Jane's going to be here. I, I will come. I can't wait to be here. I love Gilman anyway, so this is going to be great. 